What's going on homies? It's your boy Pyro. This is my guide on how to move correctly in Warzone. Before we get started, I would like to remind everyone to like and subscribe. Your support helps out tremendously. And go follow me on Twitter. I post content daily. Now without further ado, let's get right into this video. So to get right into the meat and potatoes of the video, the main thing you want to learn is parkouring and you want to learn slide canceling. The reason you want to slide cancel is because slide canceling allows you to keep up your tactical sprint longer and it also jukes out your opponents if you're being shot at. It's incredibly hard to shoot at somebody who's slide canceling. It's just because of how much they're moving. And another reason why you want to learn parkour, parkouring is incredibly strategic. If you learn how to parkour, that'll help you out in certain team fights where somebody's camping a building and they're not looking at the window behind them, but you can actually creep in that window and get the drop on them. Parkouring and slide canceling are very important. I'm gonna just give you a few examples of each one. So the easiest way to slide cancel is you want to start by going into your tactical sprint once you start that tactical sprint animation you want to slide and then you want to crouch and stand back up all in one go if you're on ps4 it would be the left stick then it would be the circle button three times that way you'll be able to execute the slide the crouch and the stand up animation all at once and to be able to slide cancel properly and keep up the infinite tactical sprint, you would have to keep spamming the tactical sprint, spamming the circle buttons repeatedly. And that's how you tactical sprint. Easiest way, you get places faster. Everyone uses it. If you don't know it now, here you go. See that right there? Because I was using the tactical sprint, I was able to beat him to the corner and I was able to execute him before he could kill me. That's why slide canceling works. You see, parkouring is strategic. It puts you in a certain mindset to where you have to outthink your opponents to kill them. The clips that I'm showing you above, these are just instances where thinking can nine times out of 10 win you an outnumber gunfight. When you can outthink your opponent, they're done for. Nine times out of 10, they can't do anything. They can't do anything to stop you. You're just, you're just different. Those people who are camping in the corner, like I said, those people get destroyed by people who think and by people who know how to parkour the right way. Parkouring comes down to map knowledge. Map knowledge comes down to experience. Experience comes down to how much you play the game. Simple as that. As you can see right here, I go up to the ledge that's up to that window seal. I peek with the Groza because I know there's people in there. I see his teammate he gets absolutely wrecked camping in a building. I get on top of the roof. I go over to the next building, get on top of that roof so I can get a better angle. Guess what I find? I find a dang flashbang and a Semtex. Come on now. How lucky is that? Right when I need it. Switch to my XM4. I thought my little flashbang in there. <laughs> Surprise, buddy. I'm here. You're done, buddy. Where are you spraying at? You can't even see. You're done for, team wipe. Get out of my game. That's just an example right there of what strategic parkouring can pull off for your team. All right, homies. That was my movement guide showing you some tips to make you a better player in Warzone. If you liked the video, go ahead and drop a like. Comment down below your favorite part. Your boy got a Discord server now, guys. Link is in the description. And have you followed me on Twitter yet? You probably haven't. Link is also in the description. And with that being said, homies, you know what I'm about to say next. It's been your boy Pyro. Out.